More than a million people have been relocated from their homes in China's Hebei province following a deadly storm earlier this week, according to state media, as officials warned it could take a month for the waters to recede in some areas. Rain from the remnants of Typhoon Dokstory slammed the northern province of 75 million and the neighboring cities of Beijing and Tianjin starting last weekend, resulting in heavy flooding that stranded residents, washed away bridges and highways, and left at least 22 dead. The storm brought the heaviest rainfall Beijing has experienced in 140 years, marking a significant test of the region's capacity to handle extreme weather that experts warn will become more frequent with climate change. Evacuated residents have been transferred to makeshift shelters in hotels and schools, according to state media reports. Social media posts show people dropping off donations to these shelters or setting up booths to offer food, while the district government within Tianjin called on residents to help house their displaced relatives and neighbors. Many of those displaced in Hebei, an industrial and agrarian hub that is home to many of Beijing's commuters, have been forced to leave their houses in areas where authorities have released pent-up floodwaters that had overwhelmed reservoirs and waterways. As of Wednesday, authorities had released more than a billion cubic meters of flood water into flood control zones, which include farmland and residential areas as well as lakes and wetlands, according to state media. 
Rain pelted swaths of China's biggest grain-producing province on Friday, submerging farms and worsening floods that have already swamped cities around the country as rescue workers scramble to contain the havoc caused by Typhoon Dukshuri. Northeastern Heilongjiang, known as China's Great Northern Granary, is the latest area to suffer the aftermath of Dukshuri, which has killed at least 20 people, displaced thousands and flooded Beijing and several other cities since it made landfall in the south a week ago. In Heilongjiang, authorities warned residents to expect more severe weather, including tornadoes, and raised the flood alert twice since Thursday night. Some areas could see more than 100 millimeters, 3.9 inches, of rain in a few hours, they added. China's oldest and biggest oil field in Daking is also located in Heilongjiang. In the waterlogged provincial capital Harbin, Two vehicles plunged into a sinkhole that appeared on an expressway near a swollen river, local media reported. Paddy fields have also been inundated and villagers in low-lying areas told to evacuate, local media reported. A widely shared video on social media showed a goat stranded on top of a rooftop and a pig trying to swim against the flood torrents. The storms and floods also triggered power cuts in nearby Shangji City where supermarkets were running low on provisions, according to media reports. I only managed to get a few bottles of mineral water and two boxes of instant noodles, a Shangji resident told local media after rushing to the supermarket after the storm alerts. <laughs> Further south, in the corn-growing region of Jilin, authorities have set up camps for the 12,550 people evacuated from Shulin City, where as much as 484.7 millimeters 19 inches, of rain have fallen over the past three days, state media reported.